Hello everybody, welcome to this video training. <coughs> uh, now that you have a basic understanding of VLAN concept, uh, we are faced with a new challenge. And uh, the question I'm going to ask right now is how the switch know which VLAN the frame belongs? Uh, in order to answer this question, you see up here I put uh, uh, I say the switch has have the choice to choose between two encapsulation protocol to add the VLAN number on the frame. Uh, and those two encapsulation pres uh, pr protocol, as you see up here in, the, in this pre presentation, are first of all we have uh, the, uh, the ISL encaps encapsulation, which stands for enter switch link. The ISL encapsulation protocol work as, as you see up here ISL encapsulate, encapsulate the frame by adding a header before the frame is carried over the trunk link so uh, what I'm gonna say about this is the protocol with, work with the trunk the, the, the trunk link uh, same thing uh, for the 802.1q 802.1q is a standard protocol so uh, the difference is ISL is a protocol that works on only Cisco devices because Cisco has created uh, create that uh, uh, protocol uh, but however 802.1q is a standard protocol you can use it on all the switches and the switch that use 802.1q will insert a 4 byte tag just like you see up here into the original frame right after the, 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 the source MAC address as you see up here in this pre presentation so in order to understand all this thing uh, how it works let let's go right now to Cisco Packet Tracer as you see up here I have a diagram that I already I already set up uh, uh, almost everything except the trunk link I didn't configure the trunk port right now and let's see up here what I what I have I have a switch switch 0 switch 1 and switch 0 uh, I have uh, three VLAN on both switches I have VLAN 1 which is the default VLAN uh, you know you know that uh, from the previous video, VLAN 10, I have it up here, and from uh, Switch 0, I have two PCs that belong to VLAN 10. VLAN 20, the same thing you see up here, and for the Switch uh, Switch 1 on the right side up here, I have VLAN 1, VLAN 10, and VLAN 20, and I have a single PC that belong to each VLAN up here, uh, like you see up here, and the uh, address uh, IP addressing scheme, as you see up here, VLAN 1 is for 192.168.1.0. VLAN 10 is 192.168.10.0 and VLAN 20 is 192.168.20.0 uh, the reason why I choose all these numbers is to make it simple because I, you see I match the VLAN number to the, to the IP address up here like you see I, I have the, that 10 up here I, I, up here I have the, that uh, 20 and VLAN 1 I have the, that one and uh, the color I put up here is uh, to make it uh, uh, to make the this uh, topology more understandable like i have uh, for the vlan one i have the green color like you see uh, the devices that have green color they belong to vlan uh, one uh, and the device for the blue uh, for the for the red color they belong to vlan 10 and the device for the blue color they uh, they belong to vlan 20 i hope you guys understand that so now what i'm going to do right now one more thing i would like to add is the uh, the pieces up here pc0 and pc2 i didn't do the configuration the, the port configuration uh, what i mean about it is i didn't assign the port to the uh, to the correct vlan so you see up here like the red uh, those pc pc0 and pc2 they belong to vlan uh, 10 so uh, let's go back to let's go to and you see up here i'm i'm using a, the 3560 switch uh, it is a multi-layer switch like the reason why because uh, there are some features uh, that i need to explain you uh, about uh, uh, the switches and if i was using this uh, the 2950 switches i will not i will not be able to show you those features so let me uh, open up up here uh, switch zero i'm gonna add uh, those two interfaces uh, uh, for pc0 and pc2 pc0 is connected as you see up here to fa0 slash 10 and pc2 is connected to fa0 slash 2 i'm gonna add the switch port i'm gonna go up here enable enable I'm gonna do conf t and I'm gonna do uh, interface FA 
zero slash ten. That's for PC zero. And you you know the reason why I I I didn't do the, the I didn't assign the port. I want to show you show you a quick way to assign the port to the villain. It is the interface range command. So interface range. It is very it is a very powerful command. You know because if I do interface range and I do the the question mark, it's gonna ask me the the name of the interface. This one I'm using FA. And if I do FA FA zero slash uh, say let's say ten. So I can use a question mark, and you see, uh, I can use uh, no, a space and a question mark, and you see, you can use the hyphen or the command. The comma is uh, for for me a little a little uh, a lot more flexible than the than the hyphen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna configure the trunk the, uh, port, like this port is FA zero slash twenty four, up here on switch zero. Same thing as uh, switch uh, one. It is F8 uh, zero slash twenty four. So I'm gonna go right now up here. I'm gonna exit from here, and I'm gonna do uh, interface F8 zero slash twenty four, and I'm gonna do uh, a switch port. Remember, I told you always use the switch port mod. Switch port mode uh, trunk mode trunk and you see <laughs> uh, this uh, this is very this is very important that uh, that's the reason why I'm using this 35 uh, 3560 uh, switch because if I use the 25 uh, 25 I'm, I'm not going to be able to get this message it say the command is rejected rejected and an and interface whose trunk encapsulation is auto cannot be configured to trunk mode what it means about that is I have to use the uh, let's go back to this presentation I have to use uh, I have to tell the switch to use either uh, in uh, between those two protocols I have to tell the switch to, to use uh, IS, ISL or 802.1Q so in order to, to fix that what you need to do is you use this command up here it is called switch port trunk and you do encapsulation encapsulation and let's use the question mark as you see up here uh, this is packet tracer uh, you have to believe me but if you are using a 30, 3560 switch in the real world you're gonna have another line that's gonna give you the option to choose the ISL uh, uh, encapsulation uh, protocol but in this case up here we only have uh, we only have uh, that one key so we don't have a choice so we have to use that one key so you have to keep that in mind so i'm going to do that one key and now the the port i'm telling the switch to use the protocol 802 that one key in order to do uh, encapsulation so so i hope you guys understand that so i'm going to do uh, uh, now switch port mode trunk so if i do that you see now it's going to take the command so, so the message the message didn't show up. So, I hope you guys uh, should understand that, you know. So, I'm gonna do the same thing for switch uh, uh, one. Hey, bro. Conf T. I'm gonna do uh, interface FA zero slash twenty four. Uh, I'm gonna do switch port uh, trunk. And I do encapsulation, and I do that one key. It is very important because you cannot have two different encapsulation. If I use one encapsulation, that one key on one end, I have to use the the same encapsulation. Same thing if I if if I uh, were having was having to use ISL on on one end, I have to use ISL on the other end. You cannot mismatch the encapsulation protocol. You have to keep that in mind. So now I do a switch port. Uh, mod trunk and that's it and now I should have uh, a trunk uh, uh, port on both side so the trunk link should be working uh, <laughs> now uh, now the question you may ask is what this hub is doing in the middle you're gonna have to understand how 802.1q work first so let's go back to Cisco packet tracer right now I'm gonna show you You see up here, I have uh, I have VLAN 10, I have VLAN 20, and I have VLAN 1. And if I send a, a frame from PC1 
to PC7 up here. You see, they belong to the same villain. So, uh, 802 one key, what he'll do, what will, what, what 802 one key uh, will do is to, uh, to, uh, to insert a tag in the original frame right after the source mag address, but uh, uh, that tag will be inserted will 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 be inserted before that frame is carried over the trunk link so you have to understand that so in order to show you all these things uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to simulation mode right now 192.168.20.107 oh i have to do ping sorry ping Okay, the packet is ready to go. So when the packet is going, you see, when the packet uh, reach uh, p, uh, switch zero, let's open up this packet. Down, but let's 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 look at the outbound packet. You see, <laughs> the packet now has has the 802.1q tag, as you see up here. It has the what I was showing in the presentation. This is what we call the is what we call the TPID. This is. Uh, uh, this is uh, telling us that we are using the 802.1 key frame. So now the question you may ask is what this hub is doing in the middle? And I would like to talk about uh, this concept of native villain. So native villain is a villain that doesn't tag, that uh, the switch doesn't tag the frame. So a frame coming from the native villain is not tagged by the switch. So, so there, is no, the, there is no 802.1 key tag. So and uh, put in mind that the default villain, uh, native villain for all for any kind of switch you have is the villain one. So uh, unless you change that configuration, but keep in mind that villain one is the native villain by by default. So what I mean about this, uh, what I need to say about that is this villain one up here. On you see you see on both switches they're gonna be the the native villain, and the trunk port, the trunk port will be set to this native villain as villain one. And in order to show you uh, to prove that, let's go and do this. Uh, do this show uh, show configuration. This uh, this show command. So I'm gonna do show interface trunk. And as you see up here, you see uh, FA0/24 is the trunk port that we have. It say the native VLAN. Let's go up here. Native villain is say native villain is villain one. As, as you see up here, it is villain one. So uh, and on both side of the switch, this native villain has to be the same. If I go to switch uh, one up here and do the show command, uh, do the show command, and I do show interface trunk, I should have the same result you see up here the native villain is villain is villain one as you see up here so i hope you guys understand that you know so now uh, so now what i need to talk about the, the native villain is so if i send a ping from pc4 if i send a ping from pc4 up here uh, ping from pc4 192.168.1.105 from PC1 to PC5 up here because they are on the same VLAN up here. So uh, let's send the packet up here. You see the packet is ready to go. So let's uh, forward the packet. You see as this packet come to the switch, let's open this packet. The, out, the outbound uh, uh, information, that's where we're going to have the, uh, we should have the, the tag. And as you see up here, there is there is no tag because the uh, this PC belongs to the native villain. That's the reason why there is no tag. And in order to prove that, so let's forward the packet up here. As the packet come over here over the trunk link, you see up here there is no tag on the packet. As you see up here, there is no tag. So that's what I would like to um, uh, mention about this uh, native villain uh, information. So now the problem is, uh, uh, let me. Uh, uh, let me stop the simulation. Uh, I didn't still uh, answer the question about why I'm using this hub. Because uh, uh, back in the days, you know, we used to have uh, a diagram like this. People used to have 
herbs uh, between switches because you switches used to be expensive cost a lot of money you know people used to have uh, herbs on between their switches so in order to save uh, uh, money you know that's the reason why i have this scenario up here and that, that's where the native women come from because uh, we used to have herbs and you see herbs don't understand uh, don't understand native villain they don't understand about the protocol 802.1q and stuff like that so that's the reason why uh, the pcs they, they connect to the herb has to be on native villain because pcs don't understand uh, the 802.1q tag because a pc if a pc receive a frame uh, that has an 802.1q tag it's gonna drop the frame that's the reason why and in order to prove you that so uh, you see this pc up here pc8 is on on the on the same subnet as uh, as PC zero up here, you know 192.168.10.100. If I try to send a ping up here, let me let me go back to simulation mode. Let me try to send a ping from PC zero to PC eight. Okay, I'm gonna open the command the command the command prompt up here. I'm gonna do I'm gonna ping from PC zero to PC eight. I'm gonna do ping 192 that 168 that uh, 10 that 108 that's the IP address for PC8 so this ping should be failing so you see let's uh, check the packet up here so I'm gonna forward this packet when this packet come here the switch will add uh, uh, an 802.1q tag so let's open up the packet and as you see you see the tag up here was added uh, by the switch uh, to the frame so that's the reason why this PC PC 8 will drop the frame so let's uh, it will receive the frame but you see <laughs> the frame is dropped you know the frame is dropped because the reason why this PC don't understand the 802.1 tag. so the only way we can uh, uh, we can be able to communicate with this PC is to put this PC in the native VLAN because we know that uh, the switch doesn't tag the VLAN uh, the, uh, the frame coming to the native VLAN so we have to put this PC in the native VLAN so in order to do that we're gonna change the IP address we're gonna do uh, let me change the simulation mode we're gonna do the IP the IP configuration we're gonna do we're gonna change the 10 we're gonna put 108 so now is this uh, PC will belong to uh, the VLAN, uh, VLAN uh, up here, VLAN 1, like uh, this PC and PC4 now should be able to communicate. So this PC now, uh, because the, I the IP address is uh, that uh, 108, so it should be able to communicate with PC, with PC4. So let's go back to simulation mode. I'm going to try to open up uh, PC4 uh, right now up here. I'm going to go to the command prompt. I'm going to do ping. 192.168.1.108 Okay, the ping is uh, going right now. I'm gonna try to send the packet. You see up here, you see the PC will reply. You see, it's replying as you see up here. Because the reason why is the only way you can have a, a PC connected to a hub like this uh, scenario up here is to put this PC in the native VLAN because we know that uh, switch doesn't tag the frame coming to the native VLAN so that's the in order in order to uh, understand the, the where the native VLAN uh, come from this concept of native VLAN it comes from the hub so you have to know that but now a native VLAN can be used uh, uh, is used nowadays for other things like uh, some protocol use the native villain in order to pass the traffic like the protocol like uh, uh, CDP like uh, the protocol uh, DTP and, and stuff like that those protocols they use the native villain in order to pass their traffic so you have to keep that in mind so uh, I think you guys understand the concept of native villain so uh, so uh, and I told you the native villain have to be I mean two switches connected together the two port have to has to be on the same native villain uh, in order uh, for the trunk to uh, in order to have to a working uh, trunk link